Pat Harper, Bill Jorgensen, Jerry Girard, and the award-winning Action News team. Good evening. Politicians from several states tonight are sharply criticizing President Carter's handling of the Cuban refugee problem. The governor of Texas, Bill Clements, says the president has literally opened the floodgates, placing no limitations on the number of Cubans entering the United States. Today, the Cuban sea lift slowed a bit, but since last month, 25,000 refugees from Castro's Cuba have come to America. Between midnight and noon today, 23 boats filled with over 800 Cubans reach Key West, Florida. U.S. Marines are now on duty at Key West to keep order among the restless refugees waiting resettlement in the United States. The Coast Guard is urging the Cuban government to adhere to international treaties aimed at protecting lives at, lives at sea. Vessels like this one, the Dr. Daniels, were forced to take far more passengers than it has safety equipment for. And getting out of Cuba is still a problem for many. Many of those who have arrived in the States tell horror stories of being beaten by pro-Castro Cubans and secret police. And now reports that the Cuban government has stalled the sea lift operation for at least 12 hours, backing up boats in the refugee crowded port of Mariel. And Pat, once the Cubans get to the States, they find that the harassment continues. As we hear now from Christy Whitker, trouble may have already begun at Union City, New Jersey. The largest group of Cuban refugees to date arrived in New York early this morning after a flight from Miami. The 95 men and one woman were met by volunteers from St. Anthony's Church in Union City and driven to New Jersey, where they spent the night in the basement of St. Anthony's Parish School. This morning, doctors and nurses who'd volunteered their services were examining them, giving inoculations and taking blood samples. But while this was going on in the church, Next door in the school, a bomb scare. That's all they said was evacuate the school. We're going to throw a bomb in the church. What kind of accent did the person have? Uh, no, he, he was an English-speaking person. How long ago did this call come in? Just now? Just this minute when you tried to get into the building. That's why we had to evacuate the school. While the children waited outside, police thoroughly checked all rooms and closets of the school. The church's doors were locked, and most of the refugees were unaware of the bomb threat. People on the scene told me they feared this could be the beginning of an anti-refugee sentiment in the community. But Father Michael Fuero says from what he's seen in his parish, there's no resentment. The uh, response on the part of the uh, American people in the parish was a tremendous uh, experience in love and uh, desire to help these unfortunate people. The coordinators here say they hope to find homes and jobs for 80% of these people by Monday and then they'll be ready to receive some more. This even though Hudson County currently has an unemployment rate of 8.5% and Union City has a rate of 11.1%. But Father Fuero says the calls just keep coming in. One uh, company uh, that called us said they had put ads in the paper for over two weeks and nobody ever answered the ad. the job? I think it was in a, in a factory sewing. See, most of the people that we have, they are educated, and a lot of them have trades. 80% of our group have trades. A new group of refugees is expected early next week, and the North Hudson Council of Mayors has held an emergency meeting and called on the federal government to help. Otherwise, they say the crisis in Cuba will end up as a crisis in New Jersey.